The evolution of the radio. In modern society, radios are common technology in the car and in the home. In fact, in today's world one would be hard-pressed to find anyone who has not heard of, seen, or used a radio during his or her life, regardless of how old or young they may be. This was not always the case, however. Before the 19th century, wireless radio communication in everyday life was a thing of fantasy. Even after the development of the radio in the late 1800s, it took many years before radios went mainstream and became a household fixture. The history of the radio is a fascinating one that changed how the world connected and communicated from distances both far and near. Radio broadcasting was the cheapest form of entertainment, and it provided the public with far better entertainment than most people were accustomed to. As a result, its popularity grew rapidly in the late 1920s and early 1930s, and by 1934, 60% of the nation's households had radios. One and a half million cars were also equipped with them. The 1930s were the golden age of radio. Before we get started make sure to like the video, subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Early Times while the radio enjoys a long and interesting history, its earliest beginnings are still quite controversial. There's some debate as to who actually invented the radio. While we may not know with certainty who put together the first radio device, we do know that in 1893 the inventor Nikolai Tesla demonstrated a wireless radio in St. Louis, Missouri. Despite this demonstration, Guglielmo Marconi is the person most often credited as the father and inventor of the radio. It was Marconi that was awarded the very first wireless telegraphy patent in England in the year 1896, securing his spot in radio's history. A year later, however, Tesla filed for patents for his basic radio in the United States. His patent request was granted in 1900, for full years after Marconi's patent was awarded. Regardless of who created the very first radio, on December 12, 1901, Marconi's place in history was forever sealed when he became the first person to transmit signals across the Atlantic Ocean. The first ever radio was made by Guglielmo Marconi in 1894. The radio was used to save lots of lives and keep in contact with ships at sea. In the beginning of 1901, Guglielmo Marconi was the first person to send a message across the Atlantic Ocean. Instead of his radio sending speech or music, there were buzzing sounds that were spotted as Morse code. The radio now was able to send messages across oceans. 1910s in 1904-1914 the radio had many refinements. The radio had enabled a better transmission and reception of the sound that was being sent. It changed the sound of it to a better clearing of the sound due to the technology they discovered. In 1910, the responsibility for radio station lists was transferred from the Navy's Equipment Bureau to the Navy's Steam Engineering Bureau. Late in 1912 the licensing of radio stations was under the Commerce Department, and all of the lists of licensed radio stations in the United States were under the responsibility of the Bureau of Navigation. The first radio broadcast was on January 13, 1910, and it was a transmission of a live performance in the Metropolitan Opera House in New York City. The performance was of the opera Cavalieria Rusticana. During 1919 the University of Wisconsin-Madison radio station was the first to ever to broadcast the first human speech. The speech went over airwaves and this happened from the discovery of the human speech through the radio. 1920s In the early 1920s the first ever commercial radio station went on air. It was an instant success. This began a radio revolution called, the Golden Age of Radio. This changed the radio and now it has commercials to listen to in between the music. In the later 1920s the radio completely changed from a bulky device to a nice, complex that are in wooden cabinets. The design of the radio changed and it became easier to use, the technology was far more complex. 
Later after about two more years, in 1921, music that was broadcasted from a radio became more and more popular. Since the music on a radio was discovered the things on a radio changed and the radio got more popular. During 1923, Edwin Armstrong invented the superheterodyne radio. This radio was a huge advancement on how the radio did work before. The design changed and it wasn't so packed with things on it and it was easier to use. 1930s and 1940s. In 1930 as technology improved the radio was becoming smaller and cheaper. The radio changed the size and price of it because of the technology they were developing. More families started to buy it because it was cheaper and portable. In 1948 the transmitter was a success. What the transmitter does is it allows radios to be in compact. The radio changed due to the discovery of Bell Laboratories. 1950s and 1960s Starting in the 1950s the radio started to present national news. Some stations started to develop reputations for broadcasting from different locations. For example from a hot air balloon or a swimming pool. In the 1960s the space program brought more advances to the integrated circuit. The radio then could fit inside of a frame of eyeglasses or in a pair of small earphones. The radio now changed to be put inside of smaller speakers. In the 1960s the radio was popular from the music that was played. The FM radio started to really expand due to the approval of the technical standards for the stereophonic radio. 1970s and 1980s It wasn't until 1978 that more people were listening to the radio. This was happening due to the simple change that made listening to music much easier. People at that time discovered how to change the simple internet to where you can listen to every stations around the world. Around the 1980s the radio speakers grew with size. The speakers projected better sound for the music or speech that was played through it. The radio now has a more clearly sound. 1990s During 1995 the radio's technology became more complex and there were added features that were attached. Lights and controls were added and even a screen to see what station you're on. The technology grew and the radio features and technology changed. In 1999 the radio changed a bit by adding a bigger screen and making the radio more fancy. There were added buttons and knobs that added more features to the radio. People now were discovering more complex technology and the radio's prices were reaching higher and higher. 2000s in 2015 there were very compact with large screens and controls. It is complex and it is also located inside cars now. The radio changed to now having clocks and even now we can connect devices to it and play music or take phone calls. The radio has changed due to the technology they devolved. In 2016 people were coming up with lots of ideas for making radios for cars and swimming areas and different places like that. The radios kept on expanding and were getting more popular due to the new comings of them. In 2018 there are many different types of radios. They all are very complex and new with all sorts of controls. The radios have changed due to the technology found and will continue to change as more technology is devolved. Today, radio has become much more than Tesla or Marconi could have ever imagined. Traditional radios and radio broadcasting have become a thing of the past. Instead, radio has steadily evolved to keep up with current technology, with satellite and streaming internet stations gaining popularity. Radios are found not only in homes, but they are also a staple in vehicles. This was the evolution of the radio. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.